These are all things people tried to carry onto flights at John F. Kennedy Airport over the last three months. A prop chainsaw, hidden knives, brass knuckles, and this. At JFK alone, they collect four tons of these items each year. In order to keep the lines moving this holiday season, the TSA is urging people to check their website to see what's allowed and what's not. A hatchet you can travel with, but it needs to go in your check bag. That means it's going to be in the belly of the plane, not in the cabin of the plane. Knitting needles and ice skates are okay to bring to your seat, but sparklers aren't allowed on the plane at all. Say you've got a knife. Say this is something you like to carry with you. Uh, as this person did. Uh, we're going to spot that in the x-ray machine or it's going to set off one of the detectors, the body scanners, and you're going to be given a choice. The choice is to put it in your checked baggage, put it in your car, or surrender the item to the TSA. These credit card wallet knives are very popular, as are these perfume bottles shaped like grenades. Both are causing problems. All the surrendered items from New York area airports are given to the state of Pennsylvania, which sells them for a profit. Ted Shaffrey, Associated Press, New York.